hello and welcome to my channel before we start if you haven't yet subscribed kindly do so because you help my channel grow and you help other people find this video it will mean a lot to me and if you have subscribed thank you and thanks for always coming back so in today's video we are going to look at PSG opportunities in the UK specifically at University of Leeds so Open your laptop, take your pens and papers, anything you are going to use to take notes. And let's have a look at it. So the first thing you have to do is to go to this website. It's very short. phg.lease.ac.uk. So let's see what they have here. So from here, we are going to click on projects. I have already opened that button to make things easier so when you click on project it brings you to this portal so there are a lot of um options to actually play around with but we are first going to start with project so let's look at the projects they have then you click on the search button they are some for international students people in eu or and just before people in UK and there is competition funded and funded project and you could also play around with a deadline but to get a lot of opportunity we're just going to click on the international then we'll click on the search button if there are other areas that um, you want to look at is also you could look at the the subject area filters and look um, at what they do have for international students applied mathematics astrophysics architecture and the board environment but like today i'm going to look at biomedical engineering so let's see what they have for biomedical engineering you click on the search button and these options will pop up i'm just gonna pick one Okay, wearable data analytics uh, looks interesting, but if you can see it's non-funded. We are not interested in non-funded projects in 2023. We are going for the funding and we are willing to put in the work. So this looks interesting for me, but nope. And you could also click on the tabs where you could choose competition funded, but I'm going to look at this, which is already funded. And the deadline is set March 2023. We still have time. As I said, there are other options we could um, look at. So you just have to read this. And um, these are the research questions. Let's go down to what they need you to do, how to apply. You have to apply directly on the university's website. We'll look at this later on. If English is not your first language, you must provide evidence to the school. So these are your... This is your proposed supervisor. I would suggest you go look at his page, what he has. So the entry requirements, you need equivalent of a 2.1 for your bachelor's and a master's degree in this area. Fluid dynamics, mathematics, physical science or engineering discipline. So even people with mathematics, not just biomedical, could also apply for this. And this is the offer they are given for the academic year. Yeah, 17,000, around... 17,700 pounds for 3.5 years so if you have these are the people you have to contact but and this is the link funding opportunities the details of all the projects but i would not advise you to directly apply because there is an option where you could get a no the first thing i would advise to you is to look at the guys the the supervisor's profile what does he have? What does he do? What are his projects? What is his interest? These are his interests. These are some of the things he does. And these are his research projects. Yeah. So what you would do now is these are his journal articles. Take time and read some of them that are linked to the project. Once you have a fair idea of who he is, Listen, I'm just using biomedical engineering as an example, but based on your your profile, if it's civil engineering, if it's mathematics, it's the same process, it's the same idea. So you read about it, you get good information about him, then you go back to my channel, then you type code email, this is the video, watch it, and based on that information, draft an email to him that you are interested in applying for this project. This is a project you are interested in applying for. 
and explain to him why you think you are a good candidate tell him what you've done that is related to the project that is related to who he is as a person then ask does he think your profile matches and does he think um you could um you want to apply for this but before you do that you want to talk to him and even if it's possible for you to have a call to discuss into details to see if both of you are a good match and if he says yes you go for the interview and if he gives you a go ahead you just put in an application or if you want you could just go ahead and put in an application also it works so now we have had a look at the projects so now let's look at other things we can do on this website so biochemistry there's a number and if you want you could also choose competition funded so you only look at projects that are funded nothing that is not funded will be there for you to see so take time and go through it and as you could see even for some of the projects even though they are biomedical engineering they need people in other fields like mathematics physics so even if your subject area is not here take time and click on these things and read if you see something that you think you can do the same process send a code email so the next thing we are going to look at is research areas let's see what they have for the research areas so if your research area is in music design you could also filter it here and choose um something let me just pick one so your research area is in cancer what do they have for cancer and to apply for the university like everything is here if you want me to make a video on the application process, let me know. But I think it's quite easier. So that's the step one, you choose an existing project or you start your own. The details are here. Then a step two, you apply. And these are the only thing you need. A CV, a research proposal, visa and immigration documents. And they give information on what your research post proposal is and how to submit it. I've also created... A video on how to write a research proposal so that will not be a problem you go back to my channel then you type research proposal and this is it take time and watch it and see how to write a, a research proposal so that is it for the research areas the next thing is supervisors so you are looking for a supervisor to find maybe on the project you didn't find anything that worked for you but you have suggestions of some work you want to do and you want to see people who work in your field so that you send them an email so you can filter by school to make it easier i will go to school of chemistry then i'll go on the search button i'm gonna choose dr yon kim let's see what he's doing so this is Dr. Young King. These are his research projects. We could have a look at the research projects in the department. His publications, his journal articles. As I said, pick some few ones, read, use that to draft a code email. So now let's look at the research projects in the department. You could look at all schools, but let's look at School of Chemistry. No, no, let's look at all schools so that for everybody who can see. So at this point here, what you should do is this project started in 2023, but it ends in 2028. That means there's still money for this project. If this project is something you are interested in, you could also 2020s, but like we want the latest. So oh, where is the 2028? It's vanished. But it's okay. I don't I, I think I played with something, but that's okay. I'm gonna choose one. Another one. So this is 2026. I'm going to choose this. I think I know why. Because I refined the search. So that's why it was showing me chemistry. So this is the 2028. I'm going to choose this. What the project is about. This. So this person has £3,000 to work on this project. Yeah. What you do is this is the principal investigator and this is the co-investigator. This is the person you have to send the code email to. This is the project website. Also take time, go through the project website. You will get all the necessary information you need. So areas of expertise, nuclear physics. So these are his these are his projects. Chemical engineers, so nuclear 
And these are some of his postgraduate researches, which is really good. So what you do is to also increase your chances. Just look at some of his students. Look at what they do. You could also send them an email that, hey, I want to apply for this project with this professor. Can you give me some, like, maybe you, you drafted your code email. Can you give me some ideas on what you think will be interested or what you think will increase my chances of me being selected for the project? So that's it. So that's the summary of today's video. We looked at some of the, pro now let's look at funding. We looked at some of the projects at the University of Leeds. We looked at some of the research areas and we looked at how to, for how to contact professors. So now the last thing I'm going to look at is funding. And I'm going to choose international. We all know that sometimes it's difficult to find funding in the business area, but um, in Leeds University has um, some opportunities for you. So for people in business school marketing, February 2024, business school accounting and finance, business school work and employment, electronics and electrical engineering, politics or global development, all these deadlines are not yet up. Kindly apply, share with your friends and family who you think this video will be useful. Until you hear from me again, I'm rooting for you.